I think there is a, a strong connection between Scandinavian design and Japanese design, especially about uh, materials, the way we treat materials like wood, natural materials like wood or stone or fabrics, and the respect for craftsmanship. And I guess that is all linked by light. the quality of the light that Japanese people prefer. It's very similar to the lighting um, environment in Scandinavian countries as well, and which is basically it's, it's about natural light, how to bring in the natural light into the interior. But it, it's not about direct light, but it's softly diffuse light. In Japan it would be the, the, the diffuser would be paper. In Scandinavian countries it might be glass or different materials. Uh, the light is, is something that we, we have in common, definitely. So in that sense, I think this project was, was, was very easy because we had a similar background. The most important thing for me when I design things, it has to be very simple and practical. It has to have a story. It has to make sense in the end. For instance, for this lamp, I was inspired by a, a chimney, basically, because the LEDs inside here generates a lot of heat. And so we made this, this lampshade uh, out of aluminium, so it works like a, like a heat sink almost. And then we have this hole on the other side, I'm not sure if you can see, like here, over here. So that the air comes in from here, it goes out from here, bringing the letting the heat away from the LEDs, so okay. it's like a chimney. And also there's a little bit of light, so when the, the, the room is dark, you feel a little bit of light that sheds onto the arm as well. The shape, the materials, what's going on in terms of air and light, is all linked together as a single story. And uh, that's exactly how design should be, basically. It's not about just creating forms or playing around with colors, but it all has to make sense at the end. And uh, I guess, so the, if you see the button here, the switch over here, when yeah. you move the, the head around, you, you always have your finger on the switch and it, the, the clicking feeling, it's, it's something that is very physical. It's something that anyone could understand. So this is off and this is 100% and this is 50%. So we didn't want to make like a machine. We didn't want to make something that is too technical using apps or sensors. But we wanted to make something that people would understand that it's a lamp and people would understand how to use and it's, it's very simple. <laughs>